guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be another Sassy Girl Aroma pre-order haul. This is the pre-order from the end of January. How Sassy Girl Aroma works, and I touch on this in every video, but if you're new here, welcome. I'm Drew. I'm addicted to wax. I tell myself I'm going to stop ordering wax for a while all the time, and I constantly have a flow of product coming to me all the time. Anyway, this is the pre-order from the end of January. How Sassy Girl Aroma works is they have a pre-order open every couple weeks, open for about a week, and you're able to order what you want, and then they begin production. Turnaround time is about a month, so this is, I got this the end of February. I got a little bit of a cold, so I didn't film videos for almost a week, but I did have some backup videos, but I know I have been gone for a while. But anyway... She does have a pre-order opening this Friday, Feb March 4th, which today's Wednesday the 2nd, so on Friday, it'll be open for a week, so definitely place your orders. Um, not exactly sure what's going to be offered in the pre-order. As usual, she's going to post that either tonight or tomorrow. I'll leave a link to her Facebook group down below. She offers her brittles, her loaves, her chunky muffins. Super exciting. I just love Sassy Girl Aroma. I love the way she runs her business. I love Julie as a person. I love how beautiful her wax is, how easy it is to store. And from what I've heard, I've only melted one thing from Sassy Girl Aroma so far. Her throw is incredible. I know, after this order, I definitely need to start melting some of my Sassy Girl. And I will, because next week is my birthday week. I will be 25 on March 11th. Oh, a whole half a century on this earth. I cannot believe it. But anyway, um, going to see Hamilton that night. It's in Pittsburgh, the tour. This will be my third time seeing it this round. Love myself some musical theater. So happy that Broadway is reopened and that tours have begun again and everybody around the world can experience Broadway again, at least in the U.S. But anyway, so... Super excited about that, and for the entire week, I am going to be melting Sassy Girl Aroma. So, pulling out some favorites, some scents I really want to try from her, some things for my very first pre-order to really get to know her throw. The one thing that I did melt, I absolutely loved in my home. So, I'm really excited to get to melting more because I hear her throw is incredible. And going through the month of March, I will be focusing on vendor weeks. I love doing a vendor week. I have so much from vendors that I really want to use and really enjoy. So having a whole week focused on just that vendor makes me super, super happy. So without further ado, let's get into this semi-massive haul. As always included in the box is the Sassy Girl Aroma business card. It has been upgraded a little bit, so it is a new business card. It is beautiful. It says Sassy Girl with her logo, established in 2010 by Tyrell and Julie Gebzek? Is that her last name? I can't pronounce it. But anyway, super exciting, and it says, but always stay humble and kind. Love these business cards. Always fun to keep in my bag. If I tell somebody about Sassy Girl Aroma, or any vendor for that matter who includes business cards, I can pull it out and be like, here's a business card. Definitely check them out. So, awesome. Thank you, as always, Julie, for that. And I did receive, as always, two samples in my order. The first one is in Bamboo Forest. Now this one, I did sniff these guys whenever I was a little stuffed, but I still am a little bit stuffed, but I can definitely smell a lot better than I did before. This is a very masculine fragrance. I'm not sure if this is a dupe for something, but it's a very green masculine scent. When I saw Bamboo Forest, I at first thought it was a dupe for the Fresh Bamboo Candle, but it's not. I like that really bright, crisp, like, snappy bamboo, but this is not it. It's definitely more masculine. Not up my alley, but this one is. This is Huckleberry Beach, and I believe this is her Beach Nights mixed with Huckleberry. And I love Beach Nights. And I love Julie's Beach Nights, mixed with Huckleberry, one of my favorite notes that you do not see a lot in wax. I really like the more unique notes when it does come to wax. And, oh my gosh, Huckleberry is definitely that. It's just a very deep, dark, juicy berry fragrance mixed with her Beach Nights. I hope Huckleberry Beach is available in 
this next pre-order. It might have been available in the one that just closed. I honestly don't remember. If it was, I definitely ordered it because anything with Huckleberry, I always pick up. All right, so I only got two lows this time. I'm really trying to be more picky on, um, on wax when I place orders now because I have a lot of wax and I really want to make sure that I'm using it up and enjoying what I do buy. So this one, I do have three brittles in. I love the fragrance. So as soon as this was offer offered in loaves, I had to pick it up. And this is Raspberry Jam Filled Donut. And this is Wild Raspberry Jam, Fluffy Donut and Powdered Sugar. This fragrance, you guys, it is so good. And I did see a lot of people talk about that the Sassy Girl Aroma dupe definitely smells a little bit body care. It was a body care fragrance last year. I actually have the Fine Fragrance Mist here with me. It is the Raspberry Jam Donut, and the notes are Wild Raspberry Jam, Powdered Sugar, and Warm Fluffy Donut. And I can tell you, this is 100% the dupe for it. I remember when I got that collection, putting the shower gel in my shower, and when the hot water hit the loofah and I started lathering that shower gel, it smelled so true and authentic to a real raspberry jam filled donut. Incredible. The yeastiness of the donut, the powdered sugar on top. And you know how whenever you bite a donut and you forget like that where the hole is that they inserted the jam and it just goes everywhere? That's what it smells like to me. It is so rich, decadent, bakery, mm, bakery heaven. I definitely think one of those brittles is going in to melt on my birthday week because... I just love it, and I know we all tell Julie, don't ever stop with these white lows with the colored overpours. They're just so beautiful. Love those. And then the next loaf, I think we can all thank Miss Charity for this one, and this is Sawdust Days, and this is caramel apple, cotton candy, and a sweet, delicious salted brown sugar vanilla. And this, she does say, is a dupe, but... It definitely smells like it. I think it smells even better. I feel like from that vendor, it had a little bit more of an apple-y fragrance, where this, I feel, is more heavy on the salt, like the pretzel, or the popcorn note. I get a little bit more of that, like, salty pretzel, but it definitely gives you that really rich carnival, circusy type of fragrance. The caramel apple, the brown sugar, the popcorn, it is heaven, and I know, well, I don't know 100%, but from what I've gathered from everybody else, I know I do not have to have the guessing game with performance like I do with the other vendor. So, super excited for that one, and now let's get into the brittles. So, I'll start with the ones that I did get two of. The first one is my beloved Date Night. This is the fragrance that I talked about earlier that I did melt before from Sassy Girl. This one did come cracked, but this one came perfectly intact. This scent, you guys. Oh my gosh. So the notes are sweet strawberries, vanilla ice cream, and peach nectar. The moment I sniffed this, I became in love. It's the peach nectar for me. It smells just like when you cut into a fresh, ripe peach and the juiciness around the pit, where it's so juicy, you feel like your, your hands are instantly sticky and you need to wash them before you even eat your peach. Oh, it is so good, so authentic, very rich, juicy peach but then blended with the sweetness of the strawberry, also that really jammy, fresh, ripe strawberry. Whipped cream, I don't, or vanilla ice cream, mm, yeah, it just really makes it super creamy, but otherwise, mm, this is heaven. And fruity lovers, peach lovers, strawberry lovers, anybody who just loves bright, juicy fragrances needs to pick this up. And if you do see me like, you see these little labels here? Those do not come on there. These are my little stickers that I put on my wax that does not include pour dates. So Julie does not add pour dates because her labels are already created for her. Um, so what I do is I just write arrived on February 25th. They're just Avery labels and I stick them on the back. That way I know when it arrived so I have an idea of how old it is in my collection. <sighs> these are all winners by the way. The next one 
waffle cone and berries. Guys, this is her berry waffle cone dupe. Sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. If you're familiar with Bath & Body Works berry waffle cone, yep, this is it. And I don't want to take it out all the way because I don't like when the bags get messy, but just look. I mean, her brittles are just gorgeous. There's no way to describe them. The overpour on the back, the tie-dyed marble design that she adds to these are, are just stunning. But anyway, it smells just like Berry Waffle Cone. It's that rich, decadent, vanilla, wafer, waffle cone -y smell with the rich, rich, macerated berries. Ugh. And let me tell you, I have a couple candles from last year left over. I will be melting that throughout my apartment and adding that to my melts because, wow, is that heaven. All right. And then the last one that I got two of, they did both come cracked, but it's okay. If they crack like this, no big deal. They do still store flat. Lilacs in a vase. All right. How many of you, I actually brought it here for reference, are familiar with the Bath & Body Works Fresh Cut Lilacs candle. I feel like even if you're not a floral lover, you love their Fresh Cut Lilacs because it just screams spring. It smells, before I smelled this, like the most authentic lilac fragrance I've ever smelled in my life. Lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and soft spring air. It does. It smells like the best lilac ever. Like fresh, fresh cut, fresh lilacs. And then I smelled Julie's. A vibrant and floral blend of fresh cut lilacs combined with refreshing morning dew in the cool spring morning air. Oh my god. <laughs> it does not smell anything like the Bath & Body Works one. This is a true lilac. Oh my gosh. And it smells like you picked a lilac right off of, it's not a tree, a bush, right off the bush, Filled it in a glass of ice cold, well, not ice cold water, I know that kills the flowers, but really pure water. And you just walk by it when the spring window is, like a window's open in the spring. It is just energizing, revitalizing. When you smell this, you're instantly just, you just get a smile on your face. It's not headache inducing. Even if you're not a fan of florals, please try this fragrance. Julie. If you're watching this video, I, I need this in a perfume. I don't need a huge bottle like I have back here. I just need a small one just to wear during the spring because this is like the most beautiful fragrance I've ever smelled in wax. And I have favorites, but as far as florals go, I've never smelled anything more authentic than this lilacs in a vase. It's beautiful. All right, so now I have the rest of my brittles, and the rest of these I just have one of. There's some that I've had before in samples, some I definitely knew I wanted more of, and some that just sounded awesome. The first one, yeah, technically it is still winter, but I'm definitely probably going to save this for next winter. This is Peppermint Meringue. I did have this in a sample and really, really enjoyed it. This is Marshmallow Fluff Coconut Milk Whipped Cream, Vanilla Sugar, Starlight Mints, Creme de Menthe, Pure Peppermint, and Creamy Meringue. It's a lot, and an easy way to say, it smells like a very creamy, creamy peppermint. Yes, a very creamy, nose-clearing peppermint. If you're not a fan of nose-clearing peppermint, you're not going to like this. It definitely gives me that really, like, you just brush your teeth and use mouthwash, like, coolness in your throat whenever you smell it. I think this is going to be an amazing nighttime blend, which is also why I say I don't think it's necessarily seasonal specific, even though it definitely does lean more towards the winter. Oh, and I finally, in this latest pre-order, ordered at the North Pole because I know everybody raves about it, and I was like, what's another peppermint vanilla scent? But everybody raves about it, so I definitely needed to try it. But this peppermint meringue, if you like cooling peppermint, but a little bit more creamy, not like super nose clearing, it is nose clearing, but it adds a lot more creaminess to it, definitely check that one out. 
The next one is Sandra. Now I did have this in a different name in muffins. It's in my melting basket for my birthday week because it is a dupe for my favorite diptyque candle, which is Bay, which is the berries fragrance from them. And this is a beautiful combination of rose, berries, currants, mild spices, and greens. And this smells just like it. Diptyque's berries or bays. Yep, it, it's like a very green rose fragrance. So if you're not a fan of rose, you're not going to like this, but it, it is very rosy with a hint of green. And don't let the spice fool you. It's not like cinnamon or anything like that. It just warms it up and takes a little bit of the like nauseating fragrance of rose that some might think um, out of it. Let me know if you guys ordered Sandra. I'll be very curious because I feel like a lot of wax people haven't tried Diptyque. So I really would love to know what your thoughts are. Next is Jenny Juice. Now, I ordered this because it has pineapple in it. So this is pineapple and then strawberry raspberry guava, which is like one note or like one oil. I love pineapple. And I watched an older video from, I think it was Tennessee Girl. I love her videos. She, I literally have this open down here and I can smell it already. Talked about how great Julie's pineapple is. I think it was her. And... Or it might have been Tara Lynn. Either way, it was an older video, and I'm like, oh, I love a good, strong pineapple. Ah, yeah, it's that pineapple. It's that fresh pineapple juice. Totally. And some people don't like pineapple. Me, bring on more pineapple, the better. And this, to me, screams summer. I don't like coconut baker. I, I don't like coconut unless it's coconut bakery. Like, I don't like sunscreen. I don't like any of that stuff. As you know, I hate summer. So this to me though, screams summer. I'm in the house, in the air condition, drinking a cocktail or eating a delicious pineapple berry concoction of some sort. Super, super yummy. Really excited for that one. Uh, don't think that's loaf worthy only because I feel like the pineapple, like, like there's a very short period of time when I do enjoy those fragrances. So that'll be nice for when it's that time. Next is Get the Funk Out, and I'm obsessed with this color. It's so cool, like psychedelic. And this is compared to Febreze, Tide, Downy Mountain Fresh, Gain, all mixed together in one perfect blend. So this is just like clean on top of clean on top of clean on top of clean. That sounds like you walk down the air freshener aisle at Target. It's crazy. It definitely does. It smells like every sort of like... Like it says, Febreze, Tide, Downy, Gain. That smells like the laundry aisle. Or the air freshener aisle. It's 100%. That's exactly what I get. And I'm not complaining. I think this will be really nice on like a day that I'm doing a lot of laundry in the house. Or I'm just doing a deep clean. Or I have people coming over. I don't want them to think that I just deep cleaned. So it's nice to have some scents like that every once in a while. Next we have... Little House of Laundry. And this is clean, aquatic, peach, jasmine, and just pulled from the drier smell of freshly laundered linens. I am dying to try to find a dupe for another vendor, the Melted Moose. They had a scent called Out to Dry, and it smelled, I talked about it before many times, it smells like you're outside on a summer day walking by the house where the dryer vent is, and it's blowing out the smoke and the lint of the dryer it literally captures all of it so anytime sassy girl aroma offers a laundry scent i try to see if i can find it this is sort of i i can get that but it's not exactly it's the dryer lint like it smells like the dryer lint like the clean laundry lint but i don't get that like outdoorsiness that i i'm craving in it it's good it's a really good good clean laundry it's hard for me to distinct distinguish all the different laundries but this is yummy this one i'm not really sure why i ordered it i don't know if it did say it was a dupe for something because it's just not up my alley this is vacationing in maui i do actually really like it though uh star fruit sweet mango and tropical hibiscus to me like i feel like fruits like Okay, everything's like a fruit blend. I don't know. Unless it's like a fruit that I know I really love. But this to me, I was like, oh, it just smells like a tropical fruit. It does, but it's really good. And I think it's because of the sweet mango and the hibiscus. 
Hibiscus flower makes everything a little bit sweet. So to me, it smells like a clean sweet, but then the mango adds that like rich juiciness that you might know and love when you smell mango. I'm thinking of Etta when I'm talking about this one because I know how much she loves mango. And to me, this smells like a very realistic mango fragrance. It does give me the vibe of, like, I wouldn't think Hawaii when I look at this, or Maui when I look at this. I would think uh, Hawaiian Fruit Punch, which I guess isn't Maui. Oh my god, isn't Maui Hawaii? I think it is. I'm so bad at geography. All right, next we have, oh my gosh, I ordered a lot of clean scents. This one, oh, I know why I ordered this. This is Extreme Clean, and this is Fresh Clean Laundry with Salted Caramel, Pistachio, Jasmine, and Vanilla. That Boom Boom. So, laundry mixed with Boom Boom. Yes. I will say, I don't get a lot of laundry. I really get the Boom Boom. And maybe it's because, like, I instantly smell it. I'm like, oh my god, this is Boom Boom cream. But yeah, I'm really just getting a milder version of Boom Boom. Which, again, I'm not complaining. I love Boom Boom. But, yeah, it's just a very mild version of it. It's really good, though. I'm really happy with it. I just, maybe when it pops in the warmer, I'll get a little bit more um, laundry. But yeah, definitely a lot of Boom Boom. Next, we have Wash Up. No joke, I ordered all sorts of laundries. A laundry lover's blend of amazing fresh air, soft florals, fruits, sandalwood, citrus, and vanilla. I remember what this one smells like. See, now, now that I smell this, this one smells more like the dryer lint than the other one does. Yeah, this one smells like a dryer, like a dryer sheet. For sure, like a dryer sheet. Like a warm dryer sheet. Yeah, it's good. I, I'm a very bad laundry describer because I just feel like they all kind of smell like laundry. It just, it's hard to distinct what the differences are. We all know why I ordered this one. This is Key Lime Zucchini. I love Key Lime. I love Key Lime Pie, and I love Zucchini bread. This is Key Lime Pie Crust Blueberry Marshmallow and Zucchini. Interesting to see the blueberry in there. You would never know there's blueberry in there unless you read it. Uh, I smell Key Lime Pie for sure. Zucchini, not a ton. It's definitely more key lime pie forward, but this is a really good key lime pie. You definitely get the graham crackery crust or the pie crust mixed with that really bright key lime. There's another sassy girl aroma key lime that I had. I think it's like Key West Bakery where it didn't smell like key lime pie at all. This smells like key lime pie. Really like that one. Next, we have My Bakery in Brooklyn, and it has the name Bakery in it, so I had to try it. Raspberry Brulee, Vanilla Butter Fudge, and Marshmallow Sugar Cookie. I love Vanilla Butter Fudge in wax, so... And this is interesting. The Raspberry Brulee, I see how it can come across as creme brulee. To me, I'm getting a little bit of a burnt smell. And maybe that's mixed with the sugar cookie, because I know how sometimes sugar cookie can come across to people as burnt. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of a, like a burnt sugar cookie mixed with that vanilla butter fudge. I don't get any raspberry. No. Mm -mm. It smells like just a slightly burnt sugar cookie. So this one, not in love with. I'll have to... um. Let that one cure a little bit longer, and again, I hear her bakery really transforms when you melt it, so excited for that. Next is Fantasyland. This is one that I know Charity also loves, and the colors on this one too, you guys. Insane. Lemon Rind Shortbread, Fruit Loop, Orange Sherbet, and Vanilla Bean Noel. It's a very, very lemon Fruit Loop. Very lemon. Very lemon rind. Very, very, very. But it's not cleaner lemon. It's just very, like, bakery lemon. Like, very, very, very strong lemon. I think it's because it's mixed with shortbread while I'm getting bakery, too. Yeah, very lemon. And then that Fruit Loop. I'm not the hugest fan of Fruit Loops. Um, I don't order a lot of it in wax. It's not, And I don't pass it up, necessarily, if there's other things I might like in it. But 
I don't really gravitate towards it, but I know Charity loved it, and if it's Charity loves it, I have to try it because I love Charity. <gasps> Next, I did not, I was not one of the lucky ones, at least I don't think so. Now I'll probably go back and I do have it, that got a sample of this. This is What a Beautiful Day, and everybody said it was a dupe for Beautiful Day from Bath & Body Works, and I also absolutely adored that fragrance when we had it years ago. This is Apple, Pear, Floral, and Amber, and to me, Beautiful Day, and this is it. This is the dupe, 100%. It just smells like a beautiful apple body care. Oh, I love it. Apple and pear, totally. Oh. If you love body care fragrances and you loved Beautiful Day, you definitely have to give this one a shot. I love it so much, and I know it's going to be super strong. At least I hope so. Um, I feel like that's going to be a good bathroom scent because it's just, the body care is just very bright and fresh. Next, we have Let's Be Friends. And Catherine King, I'm pretty sure you absolutely love this one, right? This is Friendship Bread with a fresh brewed cup of coffee. I'm trying to find my absolute favorite Sassy Girl Aroma coffee fragrance. I think I found it. Don't quote me on which one it is right now. I don't remember. But this one is interesting. I posted about it in her Facebook group because I didn't know what friendship bread was, and I forget now. But I kind of get the corn chippy note. And I know a lot of people say they smell that in zucchini bread. I smell that in this. So that's why I was like, is there zucchini bread in this? From what I remember, there was not zucchini bread in Amish friendship bread, or just friendship bread. Um, I'm getting that corn chip note. And I'm not sure why. I don't get any coffee. I just get like a corn chip bread. I don't know. It's bizarre. Um, I'll definitely melt this though, as always, um, because who knows? Maybe I'm just going crazy. I swear I didn't set this up. Going crazy is the next scent. And this is pistachio, vanilla butter fudge, and birthday cake. And why did I order this? I love pistachio. Just like my girl Ashley. Love her videos. If you are not subscribed to Ashley Overly, you must subscribe to her. She makes me so happy. I love watching her videos. Um, on my days off, I like to take naps. So I always put like on a video that's like nice and soothing before I fall asleep for my nap. And she was my video of choice yesterday. Love watching Ashley's videos. And she loves pistachio. And this is totally pistachio. Now, there's two pistachio scents here. I prefer the other one better than this one. But this is good. It's very strong pistachio right off the bat. Boom, pistachio. Vanilla butter fudge birthday cake. I'm not necessarily getting it. I'm just getting a very creamy pistachio. But I'm sure it'll come out when warm. Especially that vanilla butter fudge. It always does. This one is coconut pistachio. And this is pistachio, coconut cream pie, and sugar cookie. I am so excited to melt this one. If you are nervous about pistachio because you don't want that bam in your face pistachio, going crazy, 100% is that bam in your face pistachio. This is mellow. This is like you took a big old coconut cream pie and added a few drops of, like, pistachio extract. I don't even know, is that a thing? Pretend it's a thing. You added a little bit of pistachio extract, and you mixed it in to a coconut cream pie. That's what this smells like. It's a very, very creamy coconut. I love coconut cream pie. That's why I really love this one. And the pistachio is just a hint at the end. Really love it. Ashley, do you agree? What do you think? I watched your video, and I remember you liked both of them, but... I definitely feel like it's a very mellow pistachio. And then last but not least, Sally sells seashells. Sally sells seashells. There we go. Again, beautiful, brittle. It literally looks like, like the Little Mermaid under the sea. And this is Beach Nights, Cantaloupe, Strawberry, Peach, and Birthday Cake. I love Beach Nights, and I love, love Cantaloupe. This is so good. I pick up on Beach Nights 100%. Beach Nights is like a toasty, roasty marshmallow with like oceany air. And the cantaloupe is there, but it's not super strong, which I love. Ah, this is so good. This is so good. 
let me know, did you guys get this and did you like it? I don't necessarily get strawberry peach birthday cake. Maybe a little bit of strawberry. I don't get much peach. Cantaloupe for sure. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I love Sassy Girl Aroma and like literally, this isn't all of them. This is just the ones that I sat in the side, but like look. So many brittles. I get so happy when I put all these away because the colors are just so beautiful and my OCD makes it so nice seeing all of them stacked together like books. Alright, let me know what you guys tried from the Sassy Girl Aroma pre-order. What are some of your must-have scents? I always am looking for new ones. I am super excited to grow my Sassy Girl Aroma collection even though it's right back here and it doesn't need grown anymore. Ha! Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already and hit that notification bell down in the corner. That way you're alerted every time I upload here on YouTube. Make it a better world. You matter and I love you all so much. Have a great one. Bye guys.